Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Michael T. Brown, actress of Sister Wives, has formally severed her relationship with Robin Brown and her father Cody Brown. She revealed that their relationship broke down due to a tragic incident that occurred at Garrison Brown's funeral. When tensions get too high, Michael T. Brown, 28, the daughter of Cody Brown, broke her relationship with Robin abruptly, claiming an occurrence that happened at Garrison's funeral in March 2024. Despite the growing tensions in the family, Michael T. had been one of the few relatives to support Cody and Robin for years. However, after Garrison's death, a significant shift has occurred. Michael T. addressed the issue on her Patreon. She gave a direct response when a customer questioned her about why her connection with Robin appeared to have changed. We make a great effort to express our opinions while honoring our relationships and families. We're not dishonest, Michael T. said. Yes, lately it may seem as that has changed, she said, hinting to a major shift in her attitude about Robin. That is because of certain things that transpired during the most recent funeral. Michael T. declined to elaborate, but it's obvious that whatever happened at the funeral was sufficient to create a long-lasting breach. During the memorial service, witnesses noticed a noticeable physical gap between Robin and Michael T. Cody and Robin were seated on one side of the aisle, while Michael T. was seated on the other, her arms crossed. The increasing emotional detachment among the family was reflected in the physical separation. As Sister Wives viewers are aware, Garrison and Gabriel's ties with Robin and their father have not always been amicable. As the epidemic progressed and Robin was requested by Garrison to ease the rigorous COVID-19 regulations, the stress only grew more intense. These aren't my rules. You gotta blame somebody so I'm an easy target, Robin retaliated angrily. Within the Brown family, Robin has received fair share of criticism, with many accusing her of playing a major role in the discord within the group. Once Michael T. was one of the few people that supported Robin. Her most recent remarks, however, make it apparent that this support is now no longer available. Michael T. stated, We have always been super supportive of Robin, and that has changed. She also stated that the events at Garrison's funeral were the tipping point. For a while now, Cody's relationships with his sons had been becoming worse, especially with Garrison and Gabriel. Robin was charged by the boys with being a major factor in the discord within the family. At one point, they even refused to attend family reunions, with Garrison famously refusing to apologize, leading to further isolation. Cody, for his part, has previously called his kids jerks on national television in an attempt to express how frustrated he was with their actions. Additionally, he implied that he didn't want to speak with them anymore. Michael T's choice to cut ties with Robin signifies a big change in the dynamics inside the Brown family. With Robin at the core of most of the conflict and Cody still having trouble with his connections with his kids, it's uncertain how the family will go. But one thing is for sure. The drama surrounding the Brown family is far from ended. There may be no mending the rift that was caused by the events during Garrison's funeral. Six months after his son Robert Garrison Brown's sad demise, Sister Wives star Cody Brown finally spoke out about his son's alienation. In an interview that was released on Thursday, September 12th, Cody, 55, said to People, The hard part is giving away that future that I saw for him, the excitement. Experiencing the death of a kid is strange. The wave of loss I'm experiencing is unlike any wave of grief I've ever experienced when a best friend or relative passes away. It is distinct. Additionally, it differs in that we cannot reconcile the future we lost out on with him. Garrison, who Cody cohabited with his ex-wife Janelle Brown, was discovered dead on March 5th from what seemed to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. After obtaining the autopsy in May, In Touch learned that one of the contributing factors was ethanol intoxication, also referred to as alcohol poisoning. Garrison's blood alcohol content was 0.370, over five times higher than the 0.08 legal limit in the United States. When his kid passed away tragically, Cody acknowledged that their relationship certainly could have been better, and that his son's death still feels like a shock. We had the opportunity to discuss more. I would receive texts and other things of that nature and looking back we could have accomplished so much more, he remarked. And it seemed to be saying, I'm busy with my life, he's busy with his, and we'll connect when we connect. 
The sister wife star, who has 18 children between her current wife Robin Brown and his ex-wives Janelle, 55, Mary Brown and Christine Brown, as well as other children, expressed that his only regret was not having taken advantage of the time he had with Garrison. I'd like to go out to supper one more. I'd like to take a seat. I would want a beer. He was kind of like manner so I want him to try and make me laugh. The only thing he regrets is that he wishes he had done it more frequently. The only thing you regret is not acting sooner. You didn't require extra time. He declared that the loss of his son had irrevocably altered him and that I can't get back to where I was. I find it hard to accept that he isn't here. You do have some expectations, particularly with someone who essentially has a bright future, he said in closing. He had a future planned out. He was always looking for an adventure, something to tell. He would always have a joke to tell or want to discuss an adventure. The main focus of Sister Wives Season 18, which aired on TLC from August to December 2023, was Cody's failing relationship with Garrison. Since the start of the COVID-19 epidemic, Cody, Garrison, and Cody's son Gabe Brown had been at odds because they disagreed with the rigorous regulations of the Brown family. In November 2023, Cody said to the cameras, I haven't been in touch with Gabriel and Garrison for quite a while. The fact that we are no longer close makes me sad. Before pursuing a reconciliation with Garrison and Gabe, he said, There were just so many things in our lives that we did that were rich together, you know, just special experiences. With Gabe and Garrison, there's not really an open door right now. They won't interact with me in any way. Janelle was concerned about her son's general mental health, and the developing distance between them and their father even before Garrison's untimely demise. Gabriel has a profound sense of everything. Though Gabe was the one who tragically discovered Garrison's body at the moment of his passing, Janelle added, he's also the kid who doesn't say anything. Garrison doesn't seem as upbeat as he used to be. He just seems angry or sadder. Janelle Brown is coming up about the death of her son, Robert Garrison Brown. The Brown family's existence came to an abrupt end six months ago, when they discovered that Garrison had committed suicide. His mother is now talking about his struggle with substance misuse in the years leading up to his passing. See what the Sister Wives star has to say by continuing to read. Janelle Brown tried to seek assistance from Garrison. March 5, 2024, marked Garrison Brown's passing. The entire Brown family was devastated by the loss and it was painful to see them struggle with their grief. Janelle Brown is now talking about her son's passing and the circumstances surrounding it. According to Janelle, who spoke to people, I think the substance abuse was really probably one of the biggest factors for him. I have no idea what we could have done in a different way. Janelle, 55, said that she reached out to Garrison to offer several resources to get him treatment with his addiction. The sixth mother simply tried to be as supportive of him as she could, but the chats never got very far. We loved him and spoke to him all the time. Everything was in its place. It was truly just something he was unable to do, just like the monster he was unable to defeat in the battle. He was unable to move on. And it just wasn't for a want of anything including love. The Sister Wives actress remarked, We tried everything, but sometimes it's not enough. Fans are aware that Garrison was discovered deceased in his Flagstaff, Arizona home. A self-inflicted gunshot wound was found to be the cause of death. When his younger brother Gabrielle Brown went to his house to check on him, he found his body. Janelle Brown claimed to have received several concerning texts from Garrison the night before his death was discovered. She asked her kids to go check on Garrison as a result of this. The Sister Wives actress claimed in a police report that she ought to have sought assistance for Garrison prior to his passing. Janelle admitted that she sometimes goes back and feels they could have done something more, but I don't know. Even though she doesn't think she could have done anything differently. I think that's a grief trap, she went on, adding that everyone is ultimately accountable for their own choices and actions. We completed every task. We genuinely took all the possible actions. Unfortunately, there are instances when it still isn't sufficient. On September 5th, the sixth month since her son's passing, Janelle Brown paid tribute to him. She posted an homage to Instagram. She commented, You come up in my photo memories almost every day. In the description. Sometimes it seems like you're still here. But then I realize I won't be hearing from you by text or phone call, and everything seems to flood back at once. The Sister Wives star continued, 
I know you fought hard but in the end you just couldn't stay. I shall see you again after my adventure is over since I love you so much. Robin Brown is reflecting on the time that signaled the start of the polygamous Brown family's demise. As her relationships with Cody Brown ended, the Sister Wives star thought back on her previous sister wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown, and the resulting family disintegration. The 45-year-old told People, I believe it began when we were in Las Vegas. Robin highlighted the changes that transpired when their individual children started living independently and leaving their homes. So instead of focusing on their relationship with Cody, their focuses started to shift to kids that have left home to go live their lives, the speaker stated. According to Robin, the other spouses stopped focusing on their connections with each other and their marriages to Cody. In terms of holidays and other similar events, it started becoming a lot of focus that direction, the speaker stated. The numerous family, according to Robin, split apart in Las Vegas and things became worse when the clan moved to Flagstaff, Arizona. The four wives, she said, weren't in each other's lives as regularly and became separated geographically. She clarified, that made us feel more independent of each other. It was simpler to simply avoid spending time with each other because it was more difficult to hop in the car, go hang out at someone's house, and then try to figure out how to drive home via the snow and other such obstacles. I believe that was the next course of action, working out their future housing plan, which included whether to live in one home or build one home, revealed many issues according to Robin. I believe that many of the problems from their past began to surface, the woman stated. Prior to my arrival in the family, there were already ongoing problems around cohabitation and discussions about it. According to Robin, the COVID-19 epidemic brought about a perfect storm in all of the relationships. We weren't as cohesive, and there was disagreement among us over how to approach it. And then there was a battle and by then everyone was so self-sufficient, she claimed. Robin further asserted that Cody's three ex-wives' disagreements were influenced by his age. She continued, I think it's just also kind of an age thing. I've heard that as a married woman, you eventually reach a point where you either stop caring or becoming as interested in things, or you simply start to become more independent and maybe even obsessed with your spouse and everything. Well, I don't know if I want this anymore, or I just want something different, or I used to be okay with this and how this was going, but now I'm not okay accepting what it's been, are all statements Robin heard others make. After 25 years of spiritual marriage, Christine and Cody declared in November 2021 that they were divorcing. The mother of six went on to find love once more and married David Woolley, her current husband, in October. A year later, in December 2022, Janelle took her place. The next month, Mary and Cody made it public that they were divorcing after 32 years of marriage. The star of Sister Wives, Cody Brown, had always preferred Robin Brown to Mary, Janelle and Christine Brown, his other three wives. It was clear from his behaviors that he preferred her and her children over his three other marriages and their thirteen children altogether. The worst injustice, though, was the way he misappropriated the family's money so that Robin would always have the advantage. Quality of life is more significant than money, according to Robin Brown. In a stunning confessional for a sister wife's early season, Robin Brown shared her thoughts on money. A fan shared a poignant video that was shot shortly before the family moved to Flagstaff, Arizona, to Reddit. In the sixth episode of season 13, Robin stated that money ought to be utilized as a tool to enhance one's quality of life. Cody and I have different perspectives on money, she clarified. He spends very little money and talks a lot about saving money. I believe that saving money is a good idea. With great care, she inserted this observation. However, I also believe that living well is crucial. I believe Flagstaff would be worth the money if they could raise our standard of living. Robin Brown benefited from the joint family bank account thereafter. It seems that she and Cody frequently tapped into it for their own personal purposes, while Cody's other spouses found it difficult to make ends meet. This was made clear when Janelle resided in a rental apartment and their Coyote Pass property remained unpaid for years, while the couple bought pricey jewelry, artwork, and other items to exhibit in their enormous Flagstaff, Arizona home. Consequently, they were unable to develop residences on the land until it was settled. Fans responded to Robin Brown's Sister Wives commentary in the Reddit post's comments area. Robin Brown is known for her cunning views on money. 
They think Cody has picked up on Robin's carefree outlook on life. Raised their standard of living? They were all residing in enormous houses in Vegas. What needed to be made better? Paid a follower. They ought to have been discussing how to make money. If she had to work for her money, she might see spending differently, according to another viewer. Even before Robin entered the family, Cody had a really careless attitude about money. A third sister wives fan explained, They talked about how Janelle and Christine had a strict budget for necessities but didn't have money for extras. Braces were an example of an extra. So if kids needed stuff, they had to wait. This was the viewpoint of a fourth fan. This is a mature woman genuinely stating that living the life you desire, that is, getting what you want, is more essential than conserving money. Not thinking about emergencies, retirement, or funding her children's college educations and marriages. And by now they were turning a healthy profit. They have terrible spending habits, according to Gwendolyn Brown, who disclosed this on a YouTube video. Robin and Cody Brown could have saved money and yet enjoyed a high standard of living. She expressed her opinions about the financial circumstances of the Brown family. In a Friday, March 31, 2024 YouTube video Gwendolyn stated, I think that my dad and Robin have a terrible habit of spending very crazy and like not within their means at all. He's been spending all of their money on anything, so Janelle Brown and Mary Brown are kind of like my mom Christine Brown, in that they won't be sour or petty and try to steal money from him, even though they definitely deserve it. Viewers have seen in multiple recent episodes of the show that Cody and Robin's home is crammed with trinkets, artwork, sculptures, and other random objects that take up every square inch of available space. After making significant adjustments to her life, the Sister Wives star appears to have found newfound meaning in it, as evidenced by her excursions across the pond and Big Apple vacations. Christine, 51, went to New York City earlier this week with her 59-year-old husband David Woolley. The TLC personality posted pictures of the couple with her brother-in-law KC and sister Wendy on her Instagram page. Christine posed for a photo at the top of One World Observatory which has a view of New York City. The TV star flaunted her much slimmer figure in a brown leather jacket with a pink flower print while cuddling up to her family. In a separate picture, Christine was pictured dining with her three trip companions and having a good time. The mother of six also included a photo of her brother-in-law KC and her husband, a construction businessman, taken across the table, as well as a similar one of her and her sister that was probably taken by her new husband. We meet sick up with my sister and her husband and had the best time in New York. Christine wrote as the caption for her photo. Christine went on a lavish cruise earlier this month with David and Janelle Brown, 54, her best friend now but her former sister-wife. On Instagram, Christine posted a few pictures from her second honeymoon. The 51-year-old looked radiant in the pictures. She and David were seated close to a large window overlooking the ocean in the first picture, enjoying a fancy supper. The humorous picture of David posing seductively was the one that came next. At last, David and Christine displayed their affection when he stood outside in the dusk and gave her a gentle headshake. Under a translucent pattern dress, the trim reality star even bearing some skin in a black two-piece set. It delighted fans to see her looking so content in the comments. You two make such a cute couple, exclaimed someone. You haven't stopped glowing and David looks so happy. Another complimented. I'm going to get my sunglasses on because you both are just glowing in happiness as true soulmates. A third, however, agreed, saying, I've never been happier for people I don't know. Christine shared a picture of herself posing with David and Janelle on the ship's deck during that same trip. She was seen in the middle, posing in the translucent garment with the embroidered flowers between them. Janelle was dressed in a black pantsuit and a purple flowery top, while David was seen sporting a Hawaiian-style shirt and black jeans. In the very beginning of our relationship, I told David that Janelle and her kids are part of me. Christine gushed in her caption. Not that we were reverting to polygamy, but she will always be my sister wife. Naturally, they got along well. Going on a vacation together is fantastic. After getting married earlier in the month of October, Christine and David went to Disneyland to celebrate their first honeymoon. The reality TV actress showcased her notably smaller physique in pictures from their trip that she posted on Instagram.